Welcome UHS hardware fans. We're going to be talking today about the KD KDX2 remote maker and cloning tool. Now, this is an excellent product that has many, many functions. In this video, we're just going to do a little overview, talk to you about how to set it up, and then we'll have other videos that go into each function. So as you can see, the device itself is about the size of a smartphone. It's very lightweight. It's got a great battery. So it's very convenient to keep this in your pocket with you even and take it around um, and use it all day without any battery issues. So a great, great, great product in that regard. Now it also comes with, as you can see, your universal remotes. And of course, under here, every sort of cable that you'll ever need. So most of the functions of the KDX2 are carried out through a mobile KD app. Now you can either search for this app on your Google Play or your Apple Store, or you can just scan the QR code that's right on the back of the device here, and it'll take you right to it in the App Store. Uh, now what you're going to want to do is power it on. There's a little power button here on the side, you just hold that till it comes on, which is once you have the app. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to pair your device to the mobile KD app and that's because so many of the great functions for this device are carried out through this app. But you're going to see that's a lot easier than you think. So we're going to go to mobile KD and go to Bluetooth settings. I don't have any KDX2 device right now connected so I'm going to click to search. Make sure the device is powered on for this um, and as you can see it comes up right away. KDX2 is the top of my list so I'm going to hit pair. It'll give me a passcode. I'm going to hit OK to that passcode. All right. Now your device is paired together. Now, before you start using it, though, one very important step is to check our updates. We always want to make sure that our firmware is up to date as well as our remote data. This particular device we're using for this video has already been updated, but I'm going to walk you through the two updates that are most important for you to check for. So we're going to go to the home screen here and go to update. First thing you want to do is look for firmware updates, which is going to be upgrade KD device. Let's see, it's now assessed my device and it decided I have the latest update already. If you don't, you would just hit this button right here. It would say update. You click that and it takes one to three minutes to update the firmware on your device. The other important thing is online updates, which is your remote data. Obviously very important when it's going to be one of the main functions you use the device for. So again, I'm already up to the latest, but if you weren't, it'll automatically provide you updates when appropriate and you just hit update and then it'll add those to the system. So once you have your device connected to Bluetooth and all your updates, your KDX2 is ready to go. You can start using it right away. Make sure to check out our other videos, which are going to go into some of those specific functions so that way you can get the best out of this machine. 